We've got some breaking news from the world of entertainment. Actor and comedian Robin Williams has died. If that doesn't win, then God will go, come with me. Walk away. Williams was found early today in a statement. His publicist said that this is a tragic and sudden loss. The family respectfully asks for their privacy during this very difficult time. According to the coroner's office, Williams died of an apparent suicide. He was best known for both comedic and dramatic roles, movies including Goodwill Hunting, Mrs. Doubtfire. Williams returned to television last season in the sitcom The Crazy Ones. Robin Williams was 63. Tributes are pouring in from Hollywood tonight on Twitter. Uh, take a look. Actor Steve Martin wrote, I could not be more stunned by the loss of Robin Williams. Great talent, acting partner, genuine soul. Ellen DeGeneres writing, uh, I can't believe the news about Robin Williams. He gave so much to so many people. I'm heartbroken. And we've got Johnny Depp as well taking to social media saying the world lost a legend of an actor and an extraordinary man today. Rest in peace, Robin Williams. And with more on the life and legacy of this uh, great actor, this comedian, Jason Gorber joins us now from Film Critic at Twitch.com. Uh, How do you think you'll remember uh, Robin Williams? Uh, as one of the great lights of cinema during my lifetime. Um, uh, he was among the first that ever, for me, combined two of the things that I love most, which is com comedy and drama. And he could absolutely nail it perfectly. He was a Juilliard-trained actor who was a stand-up comedian. So he was absolutely the perfect blend between the person who knew when to be funny while being serious absolutely. and serious while being funny. That's rare. Um, and, and he could absolutely... Look, uh, a lot of his performances, something like Mrs. Doubtfire, you, you remember the very broad elements and the sort of putting up the fire on his uh, fake breasts and stuff like that. But that is a film about divorce. There's all these other elements in his, even his broadest performances where there's these moments of great pathos. And even when he's doing something very serious or stark, there's still a dark humor to it. So it was his wonderful balance and his incredible intelligence as a performer, as a comedian, as, as a dramatist, as all these elements that really uh, highlighted him as one of the truly great performers and entertainers of our lifetime. Now, is it surprising? Uh, were people surprised with this? I this, mean, he was suffering for a bit. This is incredibly shocking that he passed now. It is not surprising that he has suffered. He uh, was, um, it, it's, no, it's no shock that he did a copious amount of drugs during the 80s. Um, he, he's been in rehab numerous times. He has been very public about his bouts of depression and, and dealing with addiction issues. Um, and and he, was, he was very outgoing and open about it. It's, it's a tribute to him. It's clear that um, if, if the, if the uh, stories are to be confirmed and it seems according to his management that this is actually what happened um, that he simply was uh, dealing with an illness that he simply um, it, it ran its course unfortunately mm -hmm. Uh, many people are looking to celebrate his life. How would how would we do that? There's two films that I look for. I mean, Fisher King is one of the truly wonderful films. Terry Gilliam's Fisher King, and his performance in it is extraordinary. Again, that mix between the pathos, the humor, the the darkness, the lightness, it's all there in that film. But there's actually a smaller film, a film that wasn't very successful when it came out, called Toys, directed by Barry Levinson. And it's very much, um, it's sort of a, Pete, uh, again, he did Hook, but it's a, almost a Peter Panny meets Citizen Kane. It's, it's about a, a a man who design, uh, designs children toys and lives in this magical wonderland. From a production design point of view, from a performance point of view, Toys is a wonderful little film that's desperately in needed of sort of being uh, reclaimed. And if you're going to remember him, look, this is one of the great improv comedians of all time. This is one of the great dramatists, this uh, uh, dramatic actor. But a look at something like Toys or Fisher King and you'll see what made this performer truly extraordinary. Look, he won his Oscar for Goodwill Hunting as a he supporter of it. He could play serious so well. I loved Absolutely. that one. Dreams May Come, was that the movie? Absolutely, like a very beautiful, fantastic film. I mean, he's in Insomnia, the, the remake of the Scandinavian film directed by uh, um, uh, Christopher Nolan. Uh, he has all these elements that sort of come together that uh, just it, we just won't have a performer like him anytime soon. The, um, as, as Steve Martin said in his uh, tweet, he was a mensch. This, he, he was a, an actor's actor, a comedian's comedian. He's somebody that people looked up to. And him, along with Jonathan Winters, who was also on The Mork and Mindy Show, which we should mention the amazing spin-off from right. Happy Days. The two of them brought the notion of improv uh, comedy to the masses in some ways. That sort of, that incredible wit, that ability to think on their feet and the ability to come up with something super smart and to take something little and make it big, like Aladdin, where clearly on the page this, this uh, genie character was going to be one thing. You bring in Robin Williams, he becomes the biggest special effect of the entire film. Really, he's in line with so many of those other great, great comedians that we know of. And a tragic loss that's 
you know, similar in that that darkness that's also there. Absolutely. Look, I mean, and, and he was signed up to do another Mrs. Doubtfire film. There's things that he was uh, looking forward to doing. Um, I, I'm just personally going to miss him every single time. Good Morning in Vietnam. I mean, there's so many films and uh, projects that we can look at and just see what he does. He is a great loss, and uh, the entire community of film fans is mourning. Okay, thanks so much, Jason.